Hello, hello, Reds. Hope you are doing well. Welcome back again. Manchester United outcast Jaden Sancho will not agree to join a club in Saudi Arabia once the transfer window reopens in January. A new report from The Telegraph has outlined that Sancho is being targeted by his former club, Borussia Dortmund and Juventus, while there is also interest from Saudi Arabia. His preference, though, is to continue his career in Europe rather than joining the Saudi Pro League. Sancho was the subject of interest from Saudi Arabia in the latter stages of the summer transfer window, but did not pursue a move. And it seems as though that stance has not softened even in light of his current situation at Old Trafford. Meanwhile, Man United stars feeling fatigued. A number of senior players at Manchester United believe the club's poor start to the season is down to their intense training and traveling schedule over the summer. The Guardian reports that some players feel the poor form has been down to being overworked during pre-season, with the squad beginning the campaign tired rather than refreshed. Eric Ten Hag reportedly introduced a more intense training regime over the summer in order to whip his squad into shape and become title challengers, but it appears to have backfired. The tough training sessions alongside a hectic travel itinerary left players past their physical peaks before the season even got underway. On the other side, Eric Ten Hag tried to sign Thomas Muller in January, according to Bild. The Dutchman is claimed to be a big admirer of the Bayern Munich veteran. The report claims it was felt that the 34-year-old's experience could benefit United, and that Ten Hag and co. could try again for Muller in this season's January transfer window. Manchester United have received a boost in their pursuit of Evan Ferguson, thanks to Brighton CEO Paul Barber. He admitted the young striker could leave despite recently signing a new long-term deal. Speaking to SoccerX TV, he said, when we can put them into long contracts to give them security, give us security, but very importantly, with young players, also to help them keep learning. At some point in the future, Evan's going to be playing at an even higher level if his trajectory continues as it is. We want to make sure that we do everything we can to prepare him for that. Not just on the field, but off the field as well. Give him as much support as we can. Again and again. The agent and mother of Kylian Mbappe is reportedly pushing her son to sign for Manchester United amid claims the PSG superstar is growing tired with waiting for Real Madrid to finalize a deal. The 24-year-old's future has once again dominated headlines this summer, after the player revealed he does not intend to extend his deal with PSG. And with that arrangement due to expire in summer 2024, it's been reported that PSG want to move the player on this summer to avoid a free transfer exit. As a result, the World Cup winner has found himself linked with moves to some of the biggest clubs in the world game. Indeed, the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, and, perhaps more surprisingly, Tottenham have all been linked with Mbappe this summer. And the player has also turned down a simply ridiculous financial package from Saudi Pro League side Al-Hilal, who want to pay Mbappe a staggering year 700 millions of euro, which is equal to 600 millions of pounds over a 12-month deal, worth a sickening 11.5 million of pounds a week. Mbappe, however, has turned down that proposal, making it clear that, at the age of 24, he does not want to opt out of playing in mainland European competition. Nonetheless, PSG president Nasser al khalifi is strongly of the notion that the time has come to move Mbappe on. And with Lionel Messi and Neymar having departed this summer, it would come as no surprise were Mbappe to make the move away too. That said, there remains a common belief among the French media that Mbappe has already agreed a pre-contract agreement to move to Real Madrid as a free agent in summer 2024. However, a new and dramatic twist in the table now claims a move to Manchester United is on instead. So, is Man United tipped to win Kylian Mbappe transfer race? Yes, that comes after reports in Spain claimed Mbappe and his mother feel betrayed by Real Madrid over his prospective move. Indeed, Despite being a long-term goal of Los Blancos president Florentino Perez, Mbappe is said to have felt let down. They did not come forward with a strong enough prosposal to sign him, despite it becoming abundantly clear that a move away from Paris is on the cards. While Real apparently did make a proposal to sign him, the bid was merely felt to be superficial 
and to disguise their plan to sign him on a free next summer. And their plan to sign him in 2024 was recently unearthed by trusted transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. However, the whole saga has reportedly left Mbappe with something of a bitter taste. And it is now claimed that Mbappe and his mother are ready to turn their back on Real Madrid and pack his bags for Manchester United instead. The story comes courtesy of Spanish publication Nacional, who suggest a move to Old Trafford could be announced in January, with the player to continue at PSG in the meantime. The way things are, the footballer's mother is already moving the file for when her son is a free agent, something that will happen next January. And he has two options on the table today, the report begins. One of them happens to continue at PSG, where he knows that he will not miss out on any of the zeros. The other includes packing his bags and going to Manchester United to become the new franchise star at Old Trafford and try to dismantle the hegemony of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. It remains to be seen if both options are maintained in January, or if another option is added with which the Mbappes can raise their financial expectations. Again and again. Varane will leave United. Raphael Varane is set to leave Manchester United in the summer. The Frenchman has fallen down the pecking order at Old Trafford and is reportedly on his way out of the club. However, Sun Sport understand Varane will remain at United until the end of the campaign. Sources also claim he is more interested in a move to Saudi Arabia or Italy over a return to Real Madrid. Meanwhile, United keeper faces Wales. Alte Bayendir came off the bench for Turkey in their 1-1 draw with Wales. The Manchester United goalkeeper replaced injured teammate Ugurkan Kakir after 33 minutes in Wales. Bayendir has yet to make his United debut, but could be called upon this weekend amid Andre Onana's injury fears. Supporters were keen to see the 25-year-old in action on Tuesday, with one fan writing on social media, Time to see Altai Bayindir cook. On the other side, Benfica have no intention of selling Manchester United target Joao Neves in January. The Red Devils have sent scouts to watch the teenager multiple times already this season. However, the Portuguese giants are not open to a deal when the window reopens, according to Fabrizio Romano. He adds that the midfielder has the same 105 millions of pounds release clause as Enzo Fernandez last season. Elsewhere. So, how Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Man United restructure could take shape? High will have a new CEO, a football committee featuring Sir Dave Brailsford, and five figures, including Paolo Maldini and Dougie Friedman, in line for sporting director. Approaching a year to the day since the Glazer family announced their intention to make Manchester United available to buy, Sir Jim Ratcliffe is still waiting to seal a £1.3 billion of pounds move for 25%. There have been reports that confirmation from United's side could run into next week, while it could take up to another eight weeks for the Premier League to rubber stamp it. And so Ratcliffe is still some weeks away from being able to get stuck into overhauling Manchester United. Along with his Ineos team, Ratcliffe is expected to take control of football operations and in doing so, help build out a new hierarchy to give Eric Ten Hag and his players the greatest chance of success. With that in mind, Mail Sport looks at a possible united hierarchy at the start of the Ratcliffe era, again and again. Keep up to date with the latest United takeover, transfer and injury news, and all updates from Old Trafford by subscribe to this platform. So, here there are Onana, Rashford, Hodgland, and other Manchester United injury latest and return dates ahead of Everton. An element of intrigue promises to surround Eric Ten Hag's starting lineup when Manchester United resume their Premier League campaign against Everton at Goodison Park on Sunday afternoon. United, who will resume their campaign, chasing a third successive Premier League win, are set to be without a series of big-name stars for the trip to Merseyside. Christian Eriksen, who was scheduled to be away with the Denmark squad over this current international break, faces up to a month out with a knee injury. He has joined the likes of Lisandro Martinez and Casemiro as definite absentees for the clash with Sean Dyche's side. 
the aforementioned duo, who both joined United in the summer of 2022, could be sidelined until the other side of Christmas. Ten Hag is also facing an anxious wait on a series of other members of his squad, meaning it is hard to predict just how his starting lineup at Goodison Park could look. With that said, Men's Sport has had a look at the latest on the United injury front with a detailed roundup. Andre Onana, the Cameroonian Football Federation announced on Sunday that Onana will play no part in Cameroon's World Cup qualifier against Libya on Tuesday because of an unspecified injury. He was forced off in the latter stages of Friday's 3-0 win over Mauritius. This concern means United may be forced into handing fellow summer signing Alte Bayindir his debut at Goodison Park, though reports elsewhere have played down the severity of Onana's concern. Ten Hag will almost certainly provide clarity later this week. His possible return date is November 26th, when United vs Everton, Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Wan-Bissaka missed United's 1-0 win over Luton Town prior to the international breakthrough illness. Fortunately, it was not believed to be anything too serious, meaning he should be available for the trip to Everton. His possible return date is November 26, when United vs Everton. Lisandro Martinez. Martinez, as outlined above, is a long-term absentee. The Argentine suffered a recurrence of a foot injury in September and is unlikely to play again in 2023. Ten Hag, speaking ahead of the Reds' 4-3 defeat to FC Copenhagen earlier this month, confirmed Martinez's injury was really strong and that he was unlikely to be back before the festive period. His possible returning date is January 2024. Johnny Evans. Casemiro. United confirmed just over a week ago that Evans will be out for the next few weeks after suffering a thigh strain in the defeat to Copenhagen. He was forced off inside the first half and was replaced by Varane. It remains to be seen when he may possibly return, though a few weeks suggests he will not play again until December. His possible returning date is early or mid-December.